go. Realer than most podcasts. With Corey Thomas. With Corey oh. Thomas. Just here to motivate and give you the real. No more worries. It feels so good to say those words. No more worries. I can honestly tell you today I'm not worried about anything. No worries. I'm not worried. I used to worry about not having enough. I used to worry about not being in position to take care of my family. I don't have those worries today. No more worries. And I don't want you to have them either. No more worries. I don't have those worries anymore. Let's get rid of those worries. We all have worries. But it's time to get rid of them. The message today is no more worries. Those worries didn't do anything for me. And I'm sure they're not doing anything for you. Worries block your thoughts. They block the whole thought process. You can't think correctly when you're worried about something. Because you're thinking from a place that's tainted. You're, you're thinking based on worry. Let's not think based on worry. Worrying affects your decision making. Worrying is, is so serious that, that it can make you sick. It can give you migraines. It can give you hemorrhoids. Ulcers. Worrying can, can do those things. So if you're somebody who worries a lot, let's find a way to not worry a lot. And how you don't worry a lot is just take care of your business. Handle your business and you won't have anything to worry about. When you handle your business, you have nothing to worry about. Worrying won't allow you to be the best you can be. Worrying doesn't make him better. Worrying shows disbelief. When you're worrying, you don't believe that something's going to happen for you because you're worrying. If you believed it, you wouldn't be worrying. You know that in time, this thing will happen or that thing will happen. So somebody who worries a lot, I think to myself, man, this person don't believe in self. They're a non-believer. They don't believe the law is going to bless them in this way because they worry about it too much. Sometimes we have to just be still. Instead of worrying and running like a chicken with our head cut off, be still. Gather your thoughts. Clear your mind. Then execute. Do those things you need to do in order to not worry. Have patience. Have patience. You have to have patience. Nothing is going to happen or come when you want it to. That's just not real life. If you continue to take to stay positive and stay consistent on doing those things that will get you there, you will eventually get there. One blow, it, it, that's, it's so far and in between, guys. Like, like, we don't just come into things having all the answers. We don't. Sometimes what makes things fun is not having the answers, trying to find the answers. That's what makes it worth it. That's where the lesson is. Because if we come into it just getting it right, getting it right, getting it right, we ain't learned nothing. Hell, we already knew. It. At that point, you're not challenging yourself. That's There's more you can be doing if you're not challenging yourself. If you just know everything about what you're doing, you're not challenging yourself. And I urge you to challenge yourself. It's another level to you. I don't know you personally, but if, if you're getting all the answers right, it's another, it's another level that you have yet to reach. It's another level that you can go up to. Stop worrying about things that may never take place. A lot of times we worry about stuff that may never happen. In my marriage, I'm worrying about another guy taking my wife. That may never happen. My kids, I'm worrying about my kids. I don't want to think this way, but I'm not. I'm worrying about them not getting up. That didn't happen yet. So why I'm worried about that? They went to sleep and I'm worried about them not getting up. That didn't happen. So, so let me not worry about that. And if that was to happen, that would be so tragic. So tragic. 
but worrying. Let's stop worrying. Get rid of worry. Instead, focus that energy toward your dreams and goals. Focus that energy elsewhere. (laughs) Instead of thinking about the negative, what could happen, what may happen. Oh, I believe this. No, no. Just play it out. Live life. Deal with it as it comes. But worrying is something we're not going to do. We're not going to worry. What's for you will always be for you. Worrying will not change that outcome. You worrying about what's for you and what's not for you ain't going to make something that's not for you for you. And that thing that that you're going to get down the line is not going to make you get it any sooner. When you're supposed to get it, you'll get it. It's that simple. Stop worrying because there is nothing to worry about. You have nothing to worry about. You have all the equipment you need to be successful. Stop worrying. People who don't worry have have done the necessary footwork. They've done the legwork to the point where they're not worried. Set yourself up in that way. So if this happens, I'll counter like this. If that happens, I'll counter like this. We can always counter. We can always pivot. That's the beautiful thing about being a human being. We can always pivot from any situation. Always. I can be going left and in an instant I can stop and pivot back right. It's just like that. Worrying. Don't let worrying be your downfall. Don't let worrying make you sick. Don't let worrying cause you to be a a, a person different than who you are. Because sometimes when we worry so much, we can't even we can't be ourselves. We can't act like us. We're actually acting like someone else. And I bet you're an amazing person when you're being you. When you're worrying and being somebody else. I don't know who that is. And this is Corey Thomas with Realer Than Most. Realer Than Most podcast with Corey Thomas. 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 With Corey Thomas.